From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. The CDC warns that it doesn't yet appear that the flu has peaked. America no longer runs on Duncan, it runs on chicken soup. Philadelphia Eagles offensive tackle Lane Johnson feels that the reigning AFC champion New England Patriots are a fear-based organization where the players don't have fun. Johnson made his comments to Barstool Sports, saying, I just think that the Patriot way is a fear-based organization. Obviously, do they win? Heck yes, they win. They've won a long time. Do I think people enjoy and can say I have a lot of fun playing there? No, I don't. That's just the God's honest truth. All right, when you're paid millions of dollars to play a game, you don't really have to have fun doing it. That's what retirement is for when you walk away from the sport at the age of 35 and have the rest of your life ahead of you. Quincy Jones is claiming that he once dated Ivanka Trump. Well, if we're, if we're just throwing things out there, uh, me too, yeah, so did I. Uh, um, Ivanka, not Quincy. It's computer dating for real animals. Now zookeepers can go online to find a mate for their beasts. The database is called ZIMS for Zoological Information Management Systems. The zoo in Columbia, South Carolina is one of those testing the software, and like matchmaking sites for humans, ZIMS has information on personality traits of their suitors. Hi, I'm Trixie and I'm a total fox. I live in the Brookfield Zoo and I am so tired of dating wolves who just want to put their paws all over me. Sheriff's deputies in Alabama raided a mobile home and arrested a guy on marijuana possession charges. The man was discovered rolling joints with pages from a Bible. Because of this, God has since updated the commandments and has added an eleventh one. A Flamin' Hot Cheetos loving mom who snacked on 320 family-sized bags during her pregnancy has joked that the spicy snack could be why her son was born with bright red hair. Amelia Jackson said she went through at least eight family bags of Flamin' Hot Cheetos per week to satisfy her cravings. The mom of two got the shock of her life when her son, now four months old, was born with red hair despite both her and her partner having dark hair. You know what? She might have a point there. I'm a redhead, too, and I do like me some Cheetos. According to a survey, one in four Europeans has fallen asleep in the workplace. Hey, you know, at least they're well-rested and alert for the drive home. In a bizarre case in the UK, Essex police are on a hashtag poo watch and have been tweeting about it. Apparently, a suspected drug dealer is believed to have drugs inside his body and has now managed to go 21 days without pooping. The BBC reports the 24-year-old was arrested in mid-January and has been under supervision since then, with the department's Operation Raptor team that arrested him providing updates like this one, tweeted Wednesday. Day 21, three weeks of our man on a poop watch, still no movements slash items to report. He will remain with us until Friday when we are back at court, where we will be requesting a further eight days should he not produce anything before that hearing. Just thought you'd like to know. A college student claims that Spirit Airlines made her flush her pet hamster down an airline toilet when they discovered she brought it on the flight. I mean, granted, that is a sad story for her, but y you brought a rodent onto a plane. What, what did you expect would happen if you were caught? You probably did not see it, but President Trump and Kim Jong-un were kicked out of the Winter Olympics opening ceremony on Friday. Well, at least that's what it looked like. Two men dressed as Trump and Jong-un, and the costumes were uncanny, were quickly escorted out by security at the main stadium in Pyongyang during the opening ceremonies. One of the impersonators later said, "...we wanted to surprise everyone and bring world peace, and then we're being escorted out by security guards, which I think is really unfair. Doesn't everyone want peace?" Reportedly, the impersonators caused a commotion in the stands before promptly being escorted out by ushers. The pair were mobbed by a scrum of reporters which the Los Angeles Times states proves that reporters in other countries chase stupid stories, too. Weight Watchers is offering free membership to teens. Apparently, Tide Pods are really fattening. Become a patron of the show and get exclusive content just for official weirdos. Get the details at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like scary, true stories, check out my other podcast at WeirdDarkness.com. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!